Virginia Kitchen. I'm Laura Davis. Today we are at the South Melbourne Markets in the LG Kitchen. Today we're cooking with Claire Hooper. Welcome. Thank Hello. you for coming. Yeah. What are we making? We're making a green bean and halloumi wrap. Okay. Have you done any cooking shows before? I was on a cooking show in um, Montreal oh, yeah. in Canada. I was there too. Yeah. The food was awful. No, it was great. Yeah, it was just vegan food. Mm -hmm. And um, well, actually, it's more like a vlog. A yeah, what? A vlog. A what? He means blog. No, it's like a blog with a video, so you put a V instead of the B. But, but don't you need the V and the B? The blog. Yeah. Really? Yeah, a video blog. No, it's just a vlog. What does it mean though? It means video log. log. Yeah, all right. We are making Julia Child's chocolate souffle. Okay, you said that with no confidence. I have no confidence. <laughs> have you made it before? <laughs> no, I've never made a souffle before. Okay, um, me neither. Uh, I've what could go wrong? <laughs> everything. I've basically chosen one of the difficult, most difficult cookbooks, uh, which is Mastering the Art of French Cooking by Julia Child, and then gone through and picked the most difficult recipe in it. And okay. it's going to be great. Have you watched Julia and Julia? Yeah. Well, then we'll be, we'll be fine. We'll so be fine. I. She says that you've just got to do it. You've got to hold the duck. Uh, so I'm just going <laughs> to hold the duck or the chocolate and be confident. Because that's right. what she says works. Well, let's start. Let's do this. Do All right. it straight away because it's going to be more difficult. I'm going to roll up my sleeves. That's how committed do I am it. to this one. Do you want to just check if I think I may have added a touch too much salt? <laughs> right, right. Okay. So what I need you to do is, yeah. I need you to drain, drain the peaches, yeah. get that salt out of there. Because <laughs> what you've done is, is you've ruined my peach pie. Is I'm not going to have any more of that. Would you like to try? Oh my god. A bit too Let me just, we're going to drain the peaches. <laughs> and uh, we'll be back. Uh, it's like, it's alright, we, you can double cobble them and that's fine. It'll just be a double cobbled peach pie. Is it like salted caramel? Is that going to handle you can the pass it off. It'll be a no, double cobbled peach pie. Can you, can you fortify some flour down on the bench for me? I could probably, uh, I could probably put too much salt in the peaches. Uh, yeah. That's the first uh, trick. That's our little secret yeah. is you salt them too much and then you start again. That's a trick for you guys uh, on channel 31. So uh, John Schuster, John Bennett, Laura Davis. What's mm. the word? I'm cutting your lunch. Hey! Meta Food metaphorically <laughs> and uh, now physically. Um, can I cut this lunch? Cause You've got a special avocado cutting. I've got a, a trick, right? So we. Oh, nah. Do the Is trick, John. The cameraman said lift up so they can see it, but this feels like I'm gonna cut He's my gonna, hand. Yeah, danger. But this is. Nah, Do it for be right. romance. Um, Do it for romance. Alright. So. All there right, you go. Here we go. It's not a lot right, of pressure. So pretty good trick. To, to, uh, this is my. Because I was going to cut it like an like an idiot. Yeah, you're going <laughs> to cut it that length. Ah, oh, idiot. So what you yeah. do is you cut it in the middle. Yeah. Uh, turn it, turn it around oh. like that. Look like that. So now you got a. That is a good looking avocado. Yeah, how do you, you how do you get the nut out? So what you do is you get a knife and you chop it. And then you probably no. do. It. What? You do that so it sits in. Mm -hmm. Then you just. Uh, blew it. Like that. There's oh, something terrible is going to happen. It's a real sword in the stone moment. I don't know what to do. Um, do I just smash it? We need to look and just. Um, this is almost. <laughs> it's fine. No, we're not throwing to a break. We're sticking this out. Sort of. All right, I'm going to do mine no, don't, really don't, 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 carefully and put it in the little bag that the avocado comes with. You do yours really carefully. No, I went too deep. You went too deep? I went way too deep. All right, I'm, I'm you giving, take my you know knife. What? Just burn that knife. No. That knife is dead to me now. Okay, you know when you watch a movie and in it some people do a seance? Yeah. And then they write, like they, um, they call up a demon from, from hell and then we're like, oh God, we were just trying to have fun and look what we've done. That's what it was like. That's <laughs> what, <laughs> you look at the cotton, you're like, oh, what have we done? And now, how do we get rid of it? Laura, I was just, I was just jamming there, I, but I realised that it, I've said on camera that my baby is a demon and we want to know how to get yeah. rid of her. Yeah, it's too late now. I would no. recommend that you don't use butter because it comes from inside a no, cow. No, use lots of butter. And they are mean to the cow. And, you know, if you are an adult I wasn't human mean to the being, cow. You know, then really, you put the blob drinking in. milk you is the, not oh such wait, a great I'm idea. My pancake. Put the blob in. Now this one, this oh, it doesn't look good. No, maybe not hot enough. Well, this one might take a little bit. I drank milk, like until I was like maybe one or two years old, and then I grew up, didn't I? 
Yeah. yeah. Didn't need to drink milk anymore. He didn't grow up. This is the thing. He hasn't grown up at all. Not since he was hey, about nine. Hey, 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 guys, come on. Oh, it's really good. It's really good. I refuse to do any other episodes that aren't at the cheese factory, okay? Don't do that. Don't get get the salt out of the peaches. Zach, get the get away. I've just saved the peaches. You can put your own peaches. Zach, I Zach, oh, Zach's walked off. Can we get a shot of that? Can Zach's we get a mad. shot? Zach's left. Zach's mad. Zach's mad at us again. Again. He's not a cobbling man. He hasn't cobbled he since hasn't, '66. He's not, not peach. He hasn't cobbled a peach. I just wanted to come here and have fun. I heard Claire Hooper had fun. Yeah, she did. I heard Tegan Hagenbetham had fun. Tegan I heard... Who else? I just want to get back to the peach pie and forget that we're... Zach, through. are you back? Are you ready to work? Come back in here when you're ready to work. I just want to say that... What? Um, I'm sorry about my behaviours and my actions. Yeah, you fuck... You should be. Fuck! Um, when I make... Sorry. You can bleep that. Um, when I make <coughs> peach pie with my family, we use a lot of salt. It's more yeah. of a savoury dish. Yeah. Well, and um, there was a lot of judgement, I felt. Yeah. And not a great deal of communication. And communication. Get out of the okay. kitchen. A lot of this show has been uh, me just uh, politely eating things that I'm allergic to. Oh, really? <laughs> just, just like, I just casually turn away. And just for pen. the magic of television. There we go. Happy pen takes the uh, pain away. All right, I'm just going to check. So once that's done, stir over moderate heat until boiling. So once that's boiling, you've got to keep stirring for two minutes and remove from the heat. Okay. And I am going to get cracking on... I ripped my recipe! Uh, it's okay. I was over the top happy! Yeah. That's all right. right. I can still read it. This is If this is the worst disaster, then I'm feeling really, <laughs> really confident. You have okay. onion. You have bacon. Always have on a farm. Old MacDonald had an onion. The I-E-I-O. N-I-O-N. Cat, eat the Gouda bear. You got the biggest bit too. Oh Take it with you. Don't play games here. <laughs> Hey Paul, how was your day? Oh, what's that? You almost had sex with cheese? Mm. Oh, it's so thick. It's like a delicious doorstop and I love it. I, uh, I want it. Cat, have some more cheese. Mm. Pass the cheese around. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> Just follows the day before And your dreams drop like a rotten apple fall Rotten apples fall Rotten apples fall This is my episode, but okay. you've only told tragic stories of crying on planes <laughs> and eating soup for months, so do you have any happy stories? Uh, no, no happy ones. Um, I, I went to the park the other day. I have a really good time. I have a good time in my life. I, I eat Chinese food on because, the beach at night. Because what you don't know is she just told me a story of her employer letting her have a three minute break in the fridge eating a leftover samosa. Like, no, we can't. She I'll get only pies. have. Okay, we can't, get, we can't say pies. where that is. But I'm encouraging you to leave. <laughs> Just go back to the bathtub of vegetable soup. You don't, don't need to make money if that's how you're making money. They don't even know who I am. I'm just... I'm community <laughs> television's Laura Standing Davis. Standing in a fridge eating a leftover samosa going, Don't you know I'm <laughs> on Channel 31? Oh, no, no. 
We can't chat about anything, huh? Anything, anything. Anything we want. Anything in the world. I was going to start by asking you, because you are brother and sister, about maybe some cherished childhood memories that you share, find some common ground. Some oh, cherry yeah. memories. Some yeah. cherished, cherished memories. Cherished ones. Ones well, that you cherish. Good memories. Oh, good things? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, well, I said she's like... Because I don't know if you know this, but um, when we were little, we grew up in this like small town. It's very close to Berlin. Berlin. Yeah, but um, uh, when we were little, we were on the way to the zoo. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. it was my twelfth birthday. And our parents, yes. they were killed by a lion. Yeah, just squish. No. It was I'm a big so hairy lion. No, it wasn't a lion. Yeah, it was a train. And he ate them up whole. It wasn't a lion. They went no. into was the it stomach, a hairy and train? you never no, saw it again. No, it was a train. A no. silver fan yeah, train. So sorry. Yeah, it was a train. So and then we, we moved to the zoo. In and the train got, got them. It was a lion. No, we moved Otto has arrested development. So into he the city. Lion, and it wasn't. This then is crazy. She, I said she looked after us. It wasn't a lion. Okay. She, we lived in a squat. We're supposed to be talking about cherished memories. This isn't a cherished memory. This is an awful memory. I want to taste some. All right, let's taste Which one? Uh, I feel like we should swap them over. So you taste the Chardonnay. Okay. I'll taste the Pinot Noir. <laughs> Pinot Noir. I, and I, then we'll swap. For the longest time, I thought Pinot Noir was... Uh, was um, French for, for, for black penis. Oh. That's not true at all. It's not? It's not true. Mm, grapes. Because we've been having a little bit of a chat lately about uh, the importance of community television. I know that people, you know, always discuss the, the big names that have come out of community television like Rove and Hamish and Andy mm -hmm. and all that sort of stuff. I know that I personally got a lot from being, uh, from my time doing Studio A on community television. Yeah. You just have room to to creatively try stuff and, and make some mistakes in front of the camera and that is invaluable but I think also for everybody behind the camera as well yeah. it's, you need this sort of stuff so you can actually build a career it's a whole new set of skills for everybody yeah. to learn to transition into television so it's a whole new set of skills and it's yeah. nice to have a place um, to learn it the thing I found interesting was um, a lot of people think that uh, they're cutting the government funding, yeah. but it's not. Community television is not funded by the government other than the fact that they own the lease on the station. Yeah. Um, so they're looking at selling that off to the highest bidder. So really they're not going to be saving money, it's a money, it's a revenue thing. Yeah. So they're not losing money from community kitchen. No. <laughs> no. It's good to know, except for the waste of ingredients if my souffle doesn't work out. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. I wanted to work in animal husbandry. Mm. And uh, horticulture, mm -hmm. I don't, and, and then some. Uh, yeah, that were you. I wanted to be a prophet, but it just never worked out. And you couldn't grow your beard long enough. No, I, I couldn't. I, 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 You're still I, struggling I, to make a profit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> No. Oh, no. Here we are at bloody Luxembourg Bistro. <laughs> Can I get a bloody vodka with a twist? Excuse please? me. I wanted, I wanted <laughs> some <laughs> classic. I wanted some classic French fare, not this uh, wit. You're doing this very smoothly. You've uh, you've done this before. Uh, once or twice. Yeah. Actually, I, I do make this one. To Fine impress enough. ladies. Too much cinnamon, but. Uh... Uh, yeah, to impress ladies, certainly. Um, what do you do to impress ladies? Or boys, I mean, let's not... Exactly. You know, this is an ungender-specific drink. Uh, unlike, say, for example, the, uh, the mojito, which, as you all know, is purely masculine. masculine. <laughs> yes. All right, so mix in those spices. Okay. That was uh, nutmeg and cinnamon for those listening yep. at home. All right. It's almost a really delicious cookie. All right, so here we go, Salou. Cheers. Looking pretty good, aren't they? Oh, they look so beautiful. Look, the water had been hotter. <laughs> Anyhow, mm, bottoms up. And drink it all. I, I'll mm. die. Oh, it's like drinking Christmas, am I right? <coughs> yeah, I'm right. Is it a controversial question to see, uh, would either of you or both of you ever consider it like a solo career? Yeah, um, for sure. No, there's no way that either of us would be likely no, I think about it to all be the time. doing. No. Yeah, I think about all the people no. I'd like to play with as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's like yeah. a, it's like a dream. Like it's like like if you are in a relationship, you might like think to yourself, I. I'm attracted to other people and maybe I would like to kiss them on the mouth, but yeah, I would never do, do that. Oh, you, you do it. I would never do, do that. Oh, okay. I think about it, but I would do never it. do it. Okay. Do you know what I mean? If you don't go, you're not in relationships, Otto. No. So how would you know? I'm in a relationship with you. No, you're just my brother. That's, yeah. that's, that's different. That's a relationship. Well, I've been in 
being quiet for ages at my cafe. I had no idea what it was, but I loved it. I was like, more quark, please, whatever it is. Has this been... And now I know. It's like a really young cheese, Look, essentially. Just, please don't have me eat a cake that's been in a particle accelerator. Oh, quark. How, how's your giraffe? Mm. Um, <coughs> oh, that is smooth. So smooth. Do you just leave parties without saying goodbye? Yeah. Oh, man. I, I never say goodbye, ever. Why? Do it. Why do we even have the word goodbye? Just <laughs> so leave. you know when people are leaving. Yeah, don't, you'll know once they leave. <laughs> peach pie, peach pie. Yo, how you going? What's up today? My name is Zach and I'm cooking, hey? Gonna make some peach pie, that's what I do. I'm making peach pie for you, you and you. Have you ever heard of a cyber bully they use in mobile? That's a joke for the director. <laughs> Cobble in a peach pie 24-7 I don't fuck around cause I don't mean heaven I wanna make pie just for me, me and you Why don't we go and do the world poo? Hey. After we have the peach pie Because hey. it's, not, it's gonna make you Stop trying hey. to cut in on my song I'm just backing you up Yeah well, it's very Is it strange. too much? Peach pie I'm so, peach No, pie. Broden, Broden, sorry Can I just, can we just I don't want to address it here Let's look I just, I was just trying to back you up I was giving you space to do it And yet here I am upset. Here he is. I was giving you space to do it, but I was just sort of backing you up. It was sort of like a sample. Have you heard of a sample? Obviously not. Obviously yeah. not as musical. New order. Uh, in New tune order. As you. Um, you know samples. Where's your head at? Oh, where's your head at? Oh, were you doing a where's your head at? Yeah, I was doing where's your Here head at. Here we go. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. sorry. Man. I didn't know you were doing where's your head at. I'm sorry. I didn't know you were doing where's your head at. I'm sorry. All I'm right, sorry. All right, all right. Well, I'm really glad that's resolved. So we might take a break now and go back and check on our peach pie. And we'll be back after the break on uh, Annie Donna behind the suits. Behind the suits. <laughs> <laughs> Hanrahan Vineyard. We're having a chat with Paul Verhoeven. Mm -hmm. Who was your favourite school teacher? Why? These are eHarmony's guaranteed first date questions. I can feel we're hitting it off, to be honest. <laughs> um, I really, I liked, um, um, oh, Mr. Botel was a great one. Yeah. But then I found out he started dating my mum, which oh. is, um, so uh, that was a bit weird. Yeah, that's not very... What what romantic dates did they do? He used to take mum down to the beach. Oh, yeah? At long times. He just used to disappear with mum for a while. Just disappear on the beach with mum. Which, you know, I don't have a problem with. But I can imagine a lot of kids would... Yeah, you were... When their teacher and their mum disappear. On the beach? Yeah. Yeah, you were very open-minded, I think. Yeah. I, you know, mum just wanted a bit of love. And which mum doesn't want love? All mums. Yeah. All mums. All mums. Oh, hang on, boys. If we're going to dig in, maybe we just have a look. Yeah. Oh, what? Have ourselves a look at oh, oh, it. Oh, 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 delicious. Oh, Did you have that in your pocket? Do you mind if I just sneak some here? Oh, oh yeah. Let's now. put that. I'm putting up a knife. Let's put it right yeah. on top. Yeah, oh, let's I'll just do that now, here. and then I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop there. We're about to taste Tegan's amazing chocolate souffle. It works. We've been sitting here for a while, not allowed to eat it, and now I it's know. finally the moment. Well, maybe you okay. should go first. Okay, okay. You made it. I'm it's ready. like the texture feels right. I feel like this is what a souffle should be. This is be. what Julia Child would have wanted. This is what Julia Child would have wanted here. Yeah, it's really good. The fact that it actually worked and I mastered one of her trickier things. Mm. I feel really, really That's happy really good. now. <laughs> it's good. Mm. Is it eggy enough? Yeah, eggy enough. Right, you, you go. Okay. Right, is it what you wanted it to be? 
It's pretty damn good. Okay. It's like there's a party in my mouth and everyone's trying to kill me with trans fats. Oh, trans fats are delicious. It's pretty heavy, huh? Oh, yep. We this don't is, know how to make pie. <laughs> We've never made a pie in our lives. This life. is really good. This is actually totally up. really good. I, this is the best Christmas ever. Luxembourg uh, is about great quality French dining. And what we're about is shitty peach pies. Uh, is this a match made in heaven? No. Well, for the record, Julia Child's chocolate souffle. Amazing. Amazing. Make it, definitely make it. So get the art of French uh, cooking, mastering the art of French cooking. I don't, I've never eaten a souffle before, so I don't know if this is what it's supposed to be. I think this is meant to be, yeah. If it's not, that's how it should be made. Put it puffed really out and look like a little chef's hat. Yeah. I think that's meant to be it as yeah. well. I've seen it in cartoons. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. I think it's one of the best ones we've had on Community Kitchen so far. I win! It's pretty, you, well, we've done a few more episodes, but this is definitely, All right, this is definitely okay. the most edible. I am amazing. Um, it's, it's hard to mess up this one. Mm. I don't like watching people, like, when I eat. I don't like, like, I get anxious, whatever. Hi guys, um, we don't normally have to do this on Community Kitchen, it's normally just a really fun cooking show where we cook something and then we pretend that it tastes good, um, but today they've just given me one rose to give out on my three dates and I don't, I don't like it, I don't think it's fair, I just don't feel really romantic. Um, it's really hard, but I, I don't want to pick anybody today. You're all going home. Uh, you're all leaving the mansion. You're all leaving the Grace Darling Hotel. Um, I'm going to take this and just hand it out whimsically on the streets. Um, but there's these ones. You could, you could kind of. Oh, yeah. So we can all be yeah. winners. Like, oh. like you oh, could no. have that one. They're dying. Mm. Yeah, and you could have that one. Thank you. And you could have that one. All oh, right, excellent. Sort of slimy at the moment. And bottom. then you get one. Of, uh, you get one as well. Maybe, maybe we could just sit and have a chat. Even this feels more natural than choosing just one of you lovely gentlemen. So maybe we could all just go and listen to water music in the other room and just have a really nice afternoon. I wanted to win! <laughs>
know But just how far until the open road I hide my prayers in an old faded stone That tonight I feel with all the dreams I'm living now I'm on the way Distance coming, coming down. 